to preach nothing or say nothing that had cut down those grants. That's right. Well, I don't care if the government was giving us a billion dollars a day. stations now. They don't want me to preach against homosexuality. Yeah. Amen. Their television stations now don't want me to preach against homosexuality. I was in England uh, two weeks ago, and even over there now, mm. they are passing law. They're making law now that if you preach against homosexuality, mm -hmm. uh, throw you in jail. <laughs> the, 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 the government of England now wants to dictate to religion what to preach and what not to preach. Amen. The government of Canada wants to dictate to religion what to preach and not to preach. And I'm telling you, America is heading the same way. Amen. Now, the reason why you find these preachers like T.D. Snakes and Creflo O'Penny <laughs> and uh, Peter Popoff and, and uh, the, the uh, cotton candy preacher Joel Allstate, Allstate. And the reason why you find Fred Price and all these other fellas who love to whine and dine you to hell. That's right. The reason why you find many preachers don't speak against the government and their laws because 99.9 .9 of them are being, uh, there's a program in their organization where they're getting governmental subsidies. Yeah. And because they're being funded by the government, yeah. they don't want to preach nothing or say nothing that will cut down those grants. That's right. Well, I don't care if the government was giving us a billion dollars a day. Go ahead. I blast you into hell. That's right. And I got That's right. God everlasting word. That's right. Any time a preacher is afraid to stand up for God because he getting grants or governmental contracts and he won't preach against things that the government are doing, yeah. the government is a pimp and that preacher is the government's personal hoe. That's right. Am I right? That's right. Are you listening? Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. I said the preacher, I said. Go ahead. I said the preacher. That's right. The preacher is owned by the government. Oh, amen. He's a prostitute for the government. That's right. Huh? That's right. Hey, the government got same-sex marriages, and here you got the preacher. There's nothing wrong with same-sex marriages. Do what you want, what because you want. I got my governmental suspicions. Amen. That's right. That's right. I don't care if you was giving First Church a billion dollars an hour. Go ahead. A bit. Listen, we don't. Listen, I, we don't turn down. I turned down over seven million dollars. Already. And I turned it down, I believe it was this year. That's right. There was an organization that wanted to rent our gymnasium mm -hmm. and offered us a seven-year contract Amen. for gi giving us over a hundred thousand dollars a month. <laughs> offered us a seven-year contract. My Lord. To give us a hundred thousand dollars a month. Amen. Amen. But I, I put together a letter that says to whom it may concern, glory to God, <laughs> to whom it may concern and anyone who wants to use uh, these uh, facilities, uh, our religion or our stand is holiness. That means we believe what the prophets and Jesus and the apostles believe and practice the same. So therefore, on these, on these properties of the truth of God, uh, we cannot have no pagan holiday observance. Mm -hmm. So therefore, no Christmas. Why? The Bible ain't never said Jesus was born December 25th. No. Someone said, Pastor Dennis, but you shouldn't preach that now in summertime. The Bible said be instant in season mm -hmm. and out of season. Out of season. Huh? That's so right. if I kill it in the summertime, I save you money in the winter. That's right. That's right. <laughs> huh? oh, Amen. You know it ain't no man coming down your chimney uh -huh. in Harrisburg and live to tell about it? Lord. Where they got you or beat him before he hit the ground. That's right. You ain't either beat him or you'll take his boots. <laughs> Can you get what I'm telling you? Hallelujah. But we put it, we put it in our paperwork. There will we, there is no Christmas celebration. And they wanted to rent our gymnasium and use our classrooms. We had it in our um, documentation. No Christmas decorations. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, no Christmas plays. That's right. You can't even sing a Christmas carol. That's right. No trick or treat. No Halloween parties. No, no Halloween decorations. No Easter. No Easter. You can't rent the gymnasium out to a neighborhood jam session. That's right. I turned down over seven mil, seven million dollars. Seven million. Wonderful. And when they read that, they said, well, we respect your beliefs, but we think we'll take our business elsewhere. Mm -hmm. I didn't say, well, wait a minute, no, wait a minute. Oh, no. No, no. Ain't nobody whole, you can't buy me. Go ahead, brother. I believe what's written. That's right. Anytime you're going to sell out for money, you ought to go to hell. Go. Amen. And you don't love Jesus. That's right. Jesus said, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. That's right. And you find these churches that got all these. Listen, there's nothing wrong with having governmental programs. Nothing wrong at all. As long as you don't bow to the rules of the government anytime it makes you contradict the standard of God. That's right. Eh? Amen. And man, we plan on having a senior citizen's home. But it ain't an old person in there at home going to bring a Christmas tree in it. No. I don't care how old you are. <laughs> I, don't care, I don't care if it's so small. It's smaller than Charlie Brown's Christmas. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> hey, Amen. Not here. That's right. We not going to bow to nobody. Right. Wonderful. Huh? Wonderful. You know, when you got this thing like the Bible said, you do it the way God said First and foremost. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? For we must all appear. We must all do it. All appear before the judgment seat of Christ. You're going to stand before God? Oh, yeah. Why would a child of God take their children oh. to a Christmas parade? Go ahead. That's not for God's not people. For God's people. Christmas is heathenism. That's right. Christmas is paganism. That's right. Eh? Mm -hmm. Why would you take your child to a Christmas parade, take him to a pervert, Amen. sitting on a pervert lap, and a man looking at your half naked little daughter, mm -hmm. and a man looking at your son too? That's what right. do you want for this? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Eh? That's right. If you love your children, tell them the truth. Christmas is a lie. Amen. Bible ain't never said that Jesus was born December 25th. Mm -hmm. No more than it said that he rose on Easter, you liar. That's right. It lies. It lies. Amen. That's why I thank God for the truth of God because it's guaranteed mm -hmm. that we're going to tell you the truth. That's right. It's guaranteed. No, maybe it's all about it. So you may turn the television on and say, what is they going to preach today? The truth? The truth. The whole truth? That's right. And nothing but the truth. So help me God. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Oh,